Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about tonight's episode, because they released some sneak peeks, and oh my god, did they reveal something big. Because this is a sneak peek, I feel fine actually revealing this information to you guys, because they were fine releasing it online first, so, you know, obviously it's a massive spoiler, but... They released it online, so I'm going to talk about it because everyone's freaking out about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode is mainly to do with Killer Frost and her dad and her mother as well. So it's titled Snowpack. So that's a part of the episode. I reckon it's going to be 60% that, 40% the other stuff. And it's the other stuff that I'm really looking forward to. So that is covered actually in the sneak peek and that's what we're going to be talking about today so yeah wow that sneak peek there is two we'll go over the first one first and the first confrontation between Iris and Barry happens in the sneak peek and so this is over Barry actually sending Nora off to the future due to her actually working with Thorn he can't trust her and this is a really, really heated confrontation, and, you know, I just gotta put my hands up for Candace and Grant right here. That scene was intense, and it really worked, and by the end of that massive confrontation between Iris and Barry, Iris is like, why would you send her off? Why would you send her off without asking me? You make all these mistakes, you go by your feelings, and it's not always right. A lot of the times you're wrong, say Flashpoint, she gives us an example. And that's 100% true. I can see both sides from this. And Barry is sort of completely on the other side. He is like, she's working with Reverse Flash. How can we even trust her one bit? And he sort of understood Iris, but was so adamant on the idea that she's betrayed them. She's working with his greatest enemy. So why should we ever trust her? And I can see both sides, like I mentioned prior, but... I still think Iris is more in the right right here. I think I can understand why Barry is doing that. Obviously, it's his nemesis. Totally understandable. But I think Iris's sort of human approach to this being like, after hearing Nora's origin and how she got involved with Reverse Flash, I would be more sympathetic. I would be more along the lines of Iris. But I can see how Barry is totally opposite. And so as we head to the end of this confrontation and the sneak peek, Iris drops this massive sort of hint, and Barry's like, that doesn't bother you? And so that's, this is in regards to Nora actually working with Reverse Flash, and I think the reason why it doesn't bother Iris is because of that origin, because of what they read in the book, you would feel sympathy, and you would understand why she would gravitate to someone and actually stay with this person, even if it is the Reverse Flash, a criminal, because he's essentially teaching her he is her mentor of sorts and you know he, she doesn't have Barry in the future she needs a mentor like Barry once had with Thorn but obviously he didn't know it was Thorn or the reverse flash at first but yeah so Iris can see the other side but anyway let's move on so that was an amazing sort of sneak peek scene into the episode but let's talk about the next one this is the big WTF one this reveals something massive so I'll go through it bit by bit so Thorn at the start of the sneak peek says, I failed you, but Nora blames herself. She doesn't blame Reverse Flash. I think it is mainly Nora's fault that she didn't say anything, but obviously Reverse Flash was sort of making her actually hold off from telling them, but, you know, it was with reason that she held it back. So she needs a way, essentially, to run throughout time to stop Cicada to continue her mission, because if she just runs through the speed force she normally time travels, Barry, like he said at the end of the last episode, he's going to be able to actually feel her in the speed force and he's going to be able to stop her and I guess confine her if she actually did that. And so she needs a way and Thorn just goes, aha. He just sort of just slyly is there in the background like loitering and being like, hmm, yeah, sure. <laughs> and I really loved that moment. I thought that was really good. And so Nora questions Thorn about how... He is always left undetected, so this sparks an idea in her mind. How the hell is Thorn, when he's running through the Speed Force, he's done it hundreds, maybe even thousands of times in the future, how is he never detected? And so this is when we get the big reveal. Nora is constantly asking, how did you do it? And 
he replies it's not for you so what does it's not for you actually mean and so this thing they're talking about is the negative speed force this is a massive thing we've been theorizing about this for absolutely years since the reverse flash actually showed up for the first time he had red lightning and you know it didn't really make sense because he is as fast as Barry and the color spectrum of the comics follows a rough guideline that Reb would be slower but he's not and so we've always sort of theorized about this over the years so what does it mean it's not for you what does the negative speed force actually have that makes it not for Nora is it corruptible does it corrupt a person's soul is that why he turned so evil he did those dastardly things in the past and obviously in the future as well so he tells of why he became the reverse of the flash he used to love Barry we've heard this many times but instead of actually tapping into the speed force the same like Barry he did the exact reverse he created his own like what the hell he created his own version of the speed force that is nuts. Obviously, they're going to have to sort of explain it. I don't expect them to fully explain it, but the massive drop of them actually revealing that this is essentially a version of the negative speed force is essentially a warning for us to actually look to Nora's character. Will she be corrupted? Will she turn into, you know, inert or a version of the reverse flash? Will she be corrupted by the negative speed force? when she learns to harness it so she can use it to go back in time and then reverse flash says and you can do more what more can you do i think there is lots of different possibilities that we're able to explore as we head towards the end of the season with the introduction of the negative speed force and maybe it supplies her other powers that reverse flash is able to do that the flash isn't able to do and their own speed force maybe it gives them the power of something that the normal speed force cannot and who else can tap into this speed force so it seems like he's able to give it or to actually transfer someone from the normal speed force to the negative speed force so has he done this to other people in the past it seems like maybe he's done this because he warns it's not for you but who is it for is it just for him is he being selfish is he not showing it to anyone or has he actually given it to someone before so at the end of the sneak peek he says I have to warn you Nora it's a little bit negative and that is the reveal saying yes this is the negative speed force we're talking about he created his own version but how did he create it and why is it actually so powerful that it can evade the speed force it evades a normal speedster like Barry actually noticing that Nora's back in the past or reverse flashes come back in time and everything like that but anyway so the negative speed force is a concept that has been around for a long time and it is obviously rooted in Professor Zoom and the reverse flash, you know, they change at different points, but Eobard Thorn essentially. So pre-flashpoint the negative speed force was created by Eobard Thorn. so similar to how they're setting this up in the TV show as a negative version of the speed force is an extra dimensional field of negative energy rather than positive energy that eats away at the regular speed force like a cancer as it does in the comics and it can consume any speedster connected it by touch and so this creation and it harnessing the normal speed force it eats away at the normal speed force but it eats away at the people using it so in the comics it's able to infect and corrupt Barry at a few points and in the hope that the negative speed force would consume Barry and everyone else he loves reverse flash uses it against them so is this a way of reverse flash actually taking control of Nora not at this specific point I think right now reverse flash is being very sincere but in the end he will most likely like he does in the comics he will be able to manipulate her and use the negative speed force in a way that obviously harnesses it for himself so we also know there is an upcoming episode called the girl with the red lightning and we were all theorizing just a few days ago what does this mean we were like does this mean that Nora's getting red lightning is this something to do with the negative speed force and this sneak peek confirms it surely they are talking about Nora who's the main focus of this season who's the main girl that the title would be referring to that's Nora and in this sneak peek who 
is the one that asks to access the negative speed force, Nora. So 100% Nora, so the girl with the red lightning, it seems like Nora is confirmed to actually be getting red lightning sometime in the next few episodes and she's going to be able to harness the negative speed force and her lightning color will therefore change and will it flip back on her? I think it will sometime in the next few episodes whenever Thorn chooses to please and do so and I think that's when he backstabs her. We've seen some set photos from the finale. It seems like Thorn gets away and Reverse Flash is actually fighting Nora and Team Flash. She seems to be back together with them and I'm guessing her actually getting red lightning is definitely going to happen from this title and this sneak peek because it seems to be like the negative speed force is 100% confirmed. So I'm beyond excited to actually see this episode, to actually see some more explanation of how he created the negative speed force, but also in the next few episodes when she actually gets the freaking red lightning oh my god i'm so excited so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more like this please be sure to subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos i'll have my review out tomorrow i'll see you guys later goodbye